Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, another professional tip video for you here. Last week I put a post out to try and encourage some members to drop me an email with some problems they're having with their golf so I can try and address them and give them some advice uh, to, to help them improve. Uh, Dion was one of those members, so thank you Dion for, for dropping me an email. Uh, can you just explain to us very briefly what it is that you've been having a problem with and we'll look to help you out. So I've been a lot of links golf and yeah. uh, into it and my ball just goes like straight up. Okay. It doesn't really go anywhere. Okay. It's making my short shot a bit harder. Yeah. So it's like a bit lower. Okay. Into the wind and Very common problem to have, I think, in the winter, when we, especially when we just come out of summer, you see the ball travelling a lot further. Being colder, it's not, especially into a headwind, we are going to want to look to get that ball flight under a little bit more control. Okay. So if you did take your setup for me, as you would normally, I'm just going to explain a couple of things and what we can do to help you out. Okay. So. That's exactly how I would expect you to set up uh, with, with a normal setup. Ball position forward, swing centre behind the ball, and a good bit of width in your stance. Okay? So what I'd like you to do, first of all, is really bring that ball position back. Get it right back in the middle of your stance. And it's also going to be teed down very low now. Whereas normally you'd have it nice and high to hit up on the ball, we put it down nice and low to encourage you to hit down on the ball. Okay? And your stance width is going to go very, very narrow, almost going to feel like you're set up to hit a 7-9. Okay, and don't worry, it's going to feel a little bit different, but when you see the result, you'll understand that it's a good little change to make, okay? So take your setup for me there. Let me just explain now what's likely to happen with the ball flight. Naturally, the ball coming back at your stance is going to encourage the club face to want to be more open. Okay, so you're gonna, it's going to want to go right on you. So you've really got to make an effort to really work that club face, try and shut a little bit more. You can strengthen your grip up a little bit as well, just to encourage that club face to want to get squarer, not open and impact, okay? And obviously with the ball being back in your stance now, it's going to encourage you to feel like you're getting down on the ball, which is exactly what we need to see that ball flight coming up really low, not high. Okay, so just get, take your setup again for me. Okay, fantastic. And also now that you're, you're narrower, your swing centre is more in line with the ball as well, not sort of tilting back, which obviously helps you more than that way. Okay, so when you're ready, give that a go for me. Let's just see how we get on. Remember just to work that, the club face, try and shut it. Fantastic. So that's the first thing you obviously notice with that. Come out this high and come out really low. Exactly. And that's going to be the difference between into a wind, that ball landing and running on rather than climbing with the wind and losing distance. Fantastic. So just remember the key points for the D on there where the ball position needs to come right back in his stance, you can strengthen his grip up a little bit more, and then you also feel like you're going to hit down on the ball as much as you can. And remember, when you move the ball back and you tee it down low, naturally it's going to want to go right. So you may feel as though you're going to have to really rotate that club face as much as you can to counteract that. Happy? Happy. Brilliant. If anyone else has any issues they'd like me to address with their golf to help them improve, please do drop me an email, joe.gibbs93 at hotmail.com. And we'll hopefully get that cleared up for you so we can give you a better chance to play some better golf in the future. Until then, thank you. Thanks for coming in, Dion. All the best and bye for now.